This video is sponsored by Kanji. This is Apple's new intercom feature. Using a HomePod, I can send a message to another HomePod throughout my house. Or I can also use an iPhone, an iPad, Apple Watch, AirPods, and even through CarPlay. And in this video, we're going to go over everything you need to know about how to send an intercom message. Before you start sending off intercom messages to HomePods around your home, you'll need to make sure you have 14.2 software installed, and then you'll need to configure a few settings. So inside the Home app, tap the Home button in the upper left corner, then select Home Settings, and then scroll down to the Home Settings and select Intercom. You'll be able to adjust settings for when you would receive intercom notifications, who can send you intercom messages, and which HomePods are able to use this feature. After everything is set up, you can send an intercom message from your iPhone, iPad, Apple Watch, another HomePod, AirPods, and even CarPlay by activating Siri and saying intercom, followed by your message. Your HomePod will light up with a quick green color and immediately start playing your message. If you want to reply back on your HomePod, simply activate Siri and say reply along with your message. When you receive a reply back on a device like your iPhone or Apple Watch, you'll get a notification in which you can then listen to the intercom message or all of your messages if you have multiple available, as well as an option to reply back. Now, if you want to start a new message on your iPhone, for example, it's the same process as sending one on your HomePod. Just activate Siri, say the intercom command, and then followed by your message. You can also open the Home app and tap the intercom icon in the top right corner to send a message. To send an intercom message to a specific room, just say intercom followed by the specific room and then your message. In order for this to work correctly, however, you're going to need to make sure your HomePod is correctly assigned to that room that you want to send the message to. You can do this by long pressing the HomePod icon inside the Home app, scroll down to room, and then choose your desired location. And that's pretty much it. This feature could be extremely useful if you're trying to quickly send a message to those in your house. And the fact that it works on Apple Watch, AirPods, or even with CarPlay, giving you the ability to send messages to your home. Maybe you're on your way home and you want to send a message to your family, letting you know that you just picked up dinner and that you'll be home in five minutes. You can do that hands-free using CarPlay. But of course, I would love to know your thoughts on Intercom in the comments down below. Is this something that you can foresee yourself using often? Have you been using it a lot? Go ahead and let us know in the comments down below. Before we end today's video, I want to give you more information about our sponsor, Kanji. Kanji is an Apple device management solution built exclusively for IT teams at organizations that run on Apple. Kanji is a modern cloud-based platform for centrally managing and securing your Mac, iPhone, iPad, and Apple TV devices, saving IT teams countless hours of manual, repetitive work. Some key features include 150-plus pre-built automations powered by its macOS agent that automatically remediate even if your devices are offline, there's zero-touch deployment, automated app patching, one-click compliance templates, and much more. Kanji is the perfect solution for IT departments to keep its Apple devices well-managed, secured, and under proper security and compliance guidelines. For more information about Kanji, visit the link in the description down below. This has been Dan with Mac Rumors. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope to see you around in the next video.